we're back on the John Deere farm here on Amberstone, Farm Sim 23. In the last one, we got a bunch of things taken care of, including some bailing. We also, well, bought a lot of John Deere's. And yeah, by the way, we got more. I've even got a telehandler now, which totally, totally doesn't work on bales. So yeah, I don't know how to, how to do those. But we'll figure that out, I guess. Hey, if you got any ideas, let me know. All of our fields are prepped. That does include one, two, three, and number 10. Yes, and we've got them all fertilized one time, but we need to do it twice. So let's get some cedars. The good thing is the big field is gonna be grass all the time. So we're gonna seed that once. We shouldn't have to do it again. So here's what I'm thinking. I am thinking that let's go for the Vaderstead Rapid A. This will do direct drill, so we don't have to seed every time. Plus we do have fertilizer now and it's super fast. So we really don't need fertilizer, which this does. I, th I think the Vaderstead will be perfectly fine. Plus two of these is 320,000. Two of these is about 407, uh, 13,000. It's more, it's a whole lot more. We're also using a lot of slots right now. So let's get one of those, bam. And plus we use two of the same thing. They both pop up. Uh, I'm not gonna figure out how to, I guess I can reset the stuff back to the store. This is really, really easy. All you gotta do is go in here to your vehicles, find my 7R and my 8R, and I'm going to reset that 7R. All right. And uh, let's see, let's reset the 8R as well. Make sure I'm pressing the right buttons here. Exit out of there. Okie dokie, perfect. Oh yeah, and I reset the bell thing here as well. I'm not quite sure what to do with that, so. We'll just, we'll just let it hang out for now. And there's no time to waste at all. Oof, we paid $3,300 for seats. Yikes. Uh, we're also, uh, I'm looking at the top, $1.1 million left. Uh, that is going to be our cattle money. And we also need to buy a tether and a windrow and a baler. No, we have the baler. Mowers, is that everything? I think that's just about everything. Uh, also, I don't know how this is gonna go. I have a funny, sneaky suspicion that we're gonna end up hitting a few things with this, so maybe we spin this around and run a couple lines here at the top. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's go and get it unfolded real fast. Uh, pretty big cedar, it goes 11 miles an hour. I think this is gonna be more than enough for most people. Most people running everything. There we go, all right, hire worker as much as possible. And we have seed going across the top. We'll just uh, uh, let that probably go just for one. Once it gets to the other end, we'll go ahead and hire a worker. And uh, we'll come back in with another seeder and we'll start doing the other fields. Shouldn't take too long. So what are we putting in the ground? We are doing oats. And if you follow my main channel, DJ Go Ham Gaming, uh, that's not a surprise, is it? Nope, not in the slightest. Grass and oats, what do you think I forgot or something? You think Farm Sim 22 just made me classically forget about the crops I planned? Heck no, man. All right, put it in, let it rock and roll. Yes, yes, yes. And if we go in and take a look, we can see that crops are going in the ground. Looks like it did miss a little bit here on field two. I ain't worried about that. Let me show you some other toys I got. So I got these guys just so I could have every single John Deere of the game. How about these? I shouldn't have sold it because I wasted money. <laughs> but we got it. So we've got the 6 Ilm, which I love this tractor. And we have the 4755 yet again. 4755 is our solid fertilizer. And then we've got our spray right here. We should be able to spray our fields after uh, one or two months in game and uh, be perfectly fine. But... These guys can do other things for us as well. For example, uh, I'm not sure which one's heavier, but I need I need mowers. There's actually quite a few things that I need. And again, I still don't know how in the world I'm supposed to get stuff in here. I have no idea. And, and this guy, I have no idea how I'm supposed to load straw into that at all. I'll try, but I have no idea. So things are going pretty good. We are almost done with the grass field and the other field right here. This is our last one. So what I'm gonna do is try and catch up and maybe help out just a little bit. So this is supposed to be done. It'll fold and there it goes. Perfect. All right, let's set up some modes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Usually these workers will wait on each other. It looks like that's what's going on here. See, hire him up. 
Go straight. Don't miss any. Nice. Both workers should end up at the top. Oh, yeah. That makes me happy. All right. So now that we've got this, there's actually a little strip on the field up here. Let's see if we can find where we are. Right here. There's a little strip right through there. So we're going to have to hit that real quick. And then... It is fertilizing time. I'll show you guys how to do it. Ooh, something interesting. This says you can store bales and pallets here. Uh, I might try and load these up real quick. Uh, the funny thing is when you've got two things that can activate, they both activate at the same time. So it's a little funny. Uh, and also, I think I've figured out that this will automatically dump the bales whenever they are ready. And yes, they are kind of... Um, invisible more or less whenever they are being used so we'll do this grab the next one you can see it kind of falls through uh the machine itself works and it does uh function but there you go just like such Let's see if we can turn a little bit get it to finish up just like that and we'll fold it up nice <laughs> and i do like that you could use this jcb with it as well uh this jcb is one of my favorite pieces of equipment based game for farming simulator 22 and it makes me really happy that it's here in farm sim 23 and uh first person pretty simple to use man it's pretty good plus all wheel steering oh yeah so my assumption whenever we come over here is that this is going to dump automatically and i'm not gonna have to do anything and we're gonna see if that's actually the fact that is yes i am not doing anything this is all completely automated noise you can also see the tractor raised its front end as well trying to get out of, out of the way just a little bit so this is going to drop in and it is going to take our bells for us boop just like so very very cool i'm gonna go ahead and jump out of here let it do its thing now we come around here just like this and then now i can select how many of these bells i want what are they and that type of thing and they'll pop back out how neat is that that's so cool so now it's fertilizing time and we're gonna jump in the 4755 i love this tractor and it is perfect for this job you don't need a super fast tractor you don't need one that's crazy or or anything this or that all you need is something that'll get the job done that's exactly what this will do uh we can drop it if we want to but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna use this to kind of get a judge of how far out i could go and then hire a worker now that the worker is going with it we can pop in and take a look and see exactly what has been done so when you come in here go from where we're at to growth you could see how the growth is look at the hiccups and then we can also pop over to soil composition right here you can see that i am fertilizing and uh yeah i'm just gonna do that to every single field another quick idea for you guys whenever you're doing this hire the worker going straight across and you almost line it up it and obviously we're not all the way over but we'll just get the overlap on the other field and just like that we are done with all of this all of our fields are fully fertilized ready to go and all we gotta do now is let time go by oh yeah and i i need a trailer probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get two of them one for the main farm and then one for you know just little stuff stuff like you know little stuff always oh, probably gonna have to spray aren't we that's gonna take some time so now that we've got everything done at least this stuff let's come over to the house and let's go to bed boom sleep oh yeah so now that we are in the next day in game or february really um let's take a look and yeah yeah we've got weeds weeds small herbicide even though there's nothing else that we could possibly do. Let's jump in it. Where is it? Ha ha ha. Found it. You can also check for weeds by checking out the big picture. Uh, anything that is green has got weeds in it. Oh, look at this field. That's, that's weird. So I wasn't quite sure if this was maybe the right uh, tractor for this job or not. I still am not 100% sure if it is or not, but I guess we'll find out. I also need to set this up just right. Does it have one more setup? Yeah, it's got one more setup that goes out. 
just like that and then it starts to spray so let's hire a worker on this it is going to buy all of the herbicide from us but at least we'll take care of these weeds and that's it we have now sprayed up and we are good to go uh pretty much all that's left now is to fast forward time i don't believe we're going to be getting any more weeds especially after we've sprayed oh boy <laughs> there's a lot of weight on the back of this tractor it works but oh it makes me wonder just how much might be a better option for a solid fertilizer nonetheless i think at least for now let's fast forward time let's see what happens all right so here are we another day in game and you can see the weeds have not regrown nothing like that uh and we're looking pretty good we'll take a look at growing and it looks like field 10 the grass is ready to harvest um I don't know about that. It is March, which is good. Let's jump in here real quick, and we'll go take a look at it before we do anything else. I don't trust it. Eh, but the crop is looking good. We so don't know how high the grass is supposed to be. Um, yeah, I do. I don't think that it's ready yet. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you could mow grass just about whenever you want, but I just don't trust that it's ready i feel like it should be as tall as the grass around it and if i'm wrong well i guess i'm about to prove myself wrong yeah see here we are a day later and i'm i it oh 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 uh, yeah that's probably ready to <laughs> ready isn't it uh let's uh, let's pop it real quick i'm just gonna take a look at everything uh we're running dark green right here that is good to see interesting little bits and pieces here and there it looks like ready to harvest but small little bits i don't know about that we'll have to go back and take a look but i do know that that field is looking good uh, this field's also looking good but i don't know what happens whenever we buy the fields <laughs> you know what i think we're gonna have to wait till next time to find out 